Hi guys, this is Pam from Accessory Horror, and today I get to talk to you about a clutter confession. Um, welcome to my clutter confession. It is this drawer, and which is full of my um, favorite jewelry finds. And this in this drawer is anything from uh, rings and bracelets and necklaces. It could run the gamut. And as you can see, it's not being stored in the best way possible. And I'm sad to say that some of my favorite longer necklaces that I've gotten recently are while they're laying gently amongst each other they really shouldn't be rubbing up against each other because I want to be at least respectful for, to them and make sure they last a long time and so I, I want to find a way to store it where it keeps it um, separate and carefully contained. The other thing that I am would like to be able to accomplish by solving this problem is to make sure that all of my pieces really are visible. You know when you love to play with jewelry and shiny pretty things um, being able to see them is kind of important, so when I think about what to put together, um, I actually remember what I have. And sadly, there's been way too many times where I stumbled across something in a box that I forgot to open and said, oh yeah, I forgot I had that. And it's fun to have the surprise, but it's more fun to actually be able to um, keep that piece in rotation. So what I'd like to do is utilize this drawer as much as possible, but I want to be able to store my pieces um, in the least bulky way as possible to maximize space. I want to be able to make sure that it's as visible as possible so I can see it. Um, and I really don't want it to be an exorbitantly you know, cost prohibitive solution. So um, hopefully April, our mental clutter coach, will also help us um, solve this problem. Um, and on top of that, clear some of our mental clutter as we get ready for the day. So thanks and let's see what she comes up with. Hey guys, it's Pam. I just wanted to give you a quick shot of how I am about to organize all of these things which came out of that very small drawer. So here is what needs to be put back in uh, order and in a much better way. Okay, here are the products that I found at my local container store and these are the um, few pieces that I'm going to put back into the larger empty drawer which you see open and ready to go. Um, I like this brand. I wanted everything to be uniform in black because it makes um, the pieces pop a little bit more and I knew nothing would get lost. Uh, this is made by a company called EVA and um, it's almost like foam which I've really uh, which is nice. It's lightweight, it's not heavy and you can see kind of some of the detail around it. So in a second I will show you how it's going to show up in my drawer um, unfilled. Okay so this is my dry fit into the drawer and as you can see they're stacked in a couple of different ways. I've left the packaging on so you can kind of get a sense of the orientation. Um, one of the goals was to be able to see things a little easier um, and access them quickly. So right about now I'm kind of playing puzzle piece with them but for now this seems to work well and I still have room to grow because God knows I'm not going to stop browsing and shopping. So next up I will show you how all of the pieces fit back together. Okay, so we have now put all of the jewelry into um, the boxes that I bought. You'll see in the bottom right hand corner there is one still unfilled. Um, I'm okay with that. It gives me some flexibility if I need it and is also, you know, waiting to be filled by something new, of course. So over here is kind of the remaining stuff that is just going to stay in the smaller drawer and I'm kind of okay with that because these are things that are going to just need to stay in their original boxes um, and I will know where they are. So I can't solve the problem entirely with this particular solution but I have a much better um, way of dealing with it. So let's go put it in the drawer. Okay, here is the finished product and I could not be more pleased right now. Seriously, this is great. I can see everything. I can get to it easily. Um, I'm going to have to take a leap of faith that my four-year-old doesn't start opening the drawer and start jacking with it, but that's another problem. Um, but I think it's great. I can see everything, which was a big deal for me, and I still have room for growth. 
So where did the other boxes go? That is back up here, but you can see it is not nearly as crowded and I can touch and play with whatever um, I need to do. So this is great. Thanks to April for all of the advice and I hope you guys found this really helpful. Bye!